Good morning. I have a volunteer event in a couple of minutes, which is why I'm already dressed and ready to go. I'm just looking for my selfie stick because I can't hold the phone like this forever. Okay, that's better. So yes, good morning. Volunteer event, ready to go. I already edited the vlog for today, which means that you should see it yesterday or should have seen it yesterday. The doggies are fed. I didn't have to water the plants this morning because it's raining. Hence this, because this is the only thing I have with a hoodie. So even if the wind is blowing and I have an umbrella, <laughs> I'll still be covered. And I'm not gonna care much about my hair because it's so windy and rainy. As I mentioned yesterday, I'm leaving things a little tidier than I usually do because there might be a family coming over to pick up a farewell gift and uh, I don't know if they're coming for sure. I messaged them this morning that I have this event. So if they wanted to, they can come by um, around noonish, but I haven't gotten a reply. And I have not made the phone calls for the um, family members insurance thing. And I haven't dealt with my own uh, medical bills because quite frankly, my mind was just not set for that this morning. I got up at 5.30 and I just didn't want to start my day like that again. I didn't want to have to be on the phone all morning and knowing that I had this event, I thought I would make things go a little differently. So instead I worked on the vlog and I did a little bit of catching up on social media, took care of my household duties and now I'm going to feed the fish before I go because I don't want them to go hungry. As for the new addition to my video, which is sharing how much waste we produce in a week, this morning all I really had was compost. It's just the vine from the grapes that I had for breakfast, as well as the peel from the banana and the top part of the strawberries. No waste as such, and the container in which the strawberries are sold it's plastic so i threw that in the recycling bin if we're going to be really technical about it then yes in the bathroom there is a little bit of waste with the toilet paper i have seen videos of families i'm, I'm just i'm melting the food here <laughs> i have seen videos of families that take old rags and cut them into squares then toss them into like this either bleached water or some sort of detergent water that's next to the toilet so after they use them they throw them in there and then throw them in the wash i don't think we're at that level just yet turning off the fan so i can feed them you see the little light that's not going this way see we're not at that level of waste reduction yet so uh <laughs> yes there was toilet paper use but very minimal and nothing went into the waste basket this morning. I'm gonna feed the fish. I will hopefully be able to get you some footage of this place if you haven't seen it before. So I will see you when I get there. <sighs> well, it's rainy and very muddy. <laughs> Look at the clouds on the mountains. Oh, this is the coffee farm. That's where the actual farm is. And then this is the place that sells everything. It is not the best weather, and my shoes are cloth, but we're gonna make the best of it, hopefully. Let's see how many people showed up.
Well, they're still there, but I have to cut it short because I have somebody coming over around noonish. The family confirmed, so I want to be there, prepare some snacks, and um, just not be all frazzled getting there at the same time that they do. Whew, this frizz is nuts. I'm not even going to care. I just got another message. I'll look at it later. I wasn't able to record anything since I got home because I was on the phone with my mother since I left uh, the coffee farm. And then I called my family member to inform them about the progress with the uh, health insurance pharmacy thing. While I was talking to that family member, I was cutting these, which I laminated. And now I'm just making another quick lunch. I don't really get a lot of time for lunch. You would think that working from home, I would have one of these really comfy lunches and give myself an hour and a half to two hour lunch. But no, I'm actually in a bit of a rush. It's 12.40. The family who messaged me that they'd be here at noonish hasn't contacted me yet and nobody has shown up. Update on the trash. I did throw something else in here. This is Luna's dog hair from today. She needs a bath. And a little bit of construction paper from that stuff that I was dealing with. That's my trash so far in the day since yesterday. That's all. I think she wants something. Oh, she. Oh, the little happy doggy. The little happy doggy. You want some more love? Oh my gosh. Yep, it's petting time for Luna. I'm gonna need both hands. My watch is reminding me to get up and walk because it's. I've been sitting for a while, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do because I'm flustered. I have been trying to log into my health insurance so that I can get the explanation of benefits to then work on that claim for $1,500 out of pocket. Uh, <laughs> and then there was a password issue. So if you're unfamiliar with military anything online, basically you have a password for everything. Like any online account, you have a password, but it expires every couple of weeks or months. Mine was expired. I answered all the questions, created a new password, but you have to log in again. Apparently, I selected a security image. I do not recall this, but I could not guess which one it was. It suspended my account. I unsuspended my account and it asked for a new password. So I'm going over passwords, but it also doesn't allow you to pick the same password that you've used the last 10 times. So I created a new password and then it said that you can't create two new passwords within 24 hours. So I can't log into my account until tomorrow, if I can. I started working with my home business taxes, which are a lot easier. I don't want to show what my business is, but they are a lot easier than regular income tax. And uh, I had to stop because this is getting really bad. Like it's getting intolerable. So I applied some Benadryl cream. If that doesn't help in the next couple of minutes, I actually have to take an allergy pill. I have to take an antihistamine. I really think I'm gonna have to bathe Luna, like now. And I've been trying to figure out a good angle to place the camera in because when I start brushing Luna, she'll start walking around the house because she doesn't like to be brushed. She likes it occasionally, but not what I'm gonna do now, which is really knock off all of her hair. Let me clarify that, all of her loose hair. She saw the brush, she's getting up. Oh gosh.
I'm gonna take a break because, um, oh, my allergies are getting so bad. My nose, I just wanna tear off my nose. Uh, I really don't know if I should bathe her because just brushing her, I'm already, I'm ready to take an antihistamine. I think I'm just gonna start with the little one, which is what we usually do. We start with the little one so she can start drying off while we bathe the big one. She's right, she was right behind me. I'm telling you, this is my shadow. I'm gonna bathe the little one and then uh, grab the big one. <laughs> okay, now I really don't know if I should bathe her. <laughs> ah! Where's my husband when I need him? Okay, now I seriously have to think this through because if I get her in the tub by myself, this is probably just gonna get worse. <laughs> My throat is itchy too. And yes, I could take an antihistamine before I bathe her, but after their baths, we always disinfect the bathroom because we bathe them in the tub. <laughs> and I don't wanna get sleepy before I disinfect the bathroom and tidy up everything the way it's supposed to be. I'm gonna get back to you because I'm gonna think this through. we're done <sighs> on to victim number two this one should be fun the only way I got her in here was with peanut butter
I'm trying to catch this, but it's hard. <sighs> she already wet the whole bathroom. Okay. Now the madness begins. Now Luna's gonna give herself a second bath with her tongue where I have to clean the bathroom. Whenever she shakes, she just throws water everywhere. When it's my husband and me, we can put towels on both her sides and that way we kind of create a wall, a barrier around her, but he's not here so the whole bathroom is wet. <laughs> I can't show you but I have hives on the back of my thighs and on the sides and I can't even tell you how much my nose is itching. All right, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to disinfect the tub. Ta-da! Clean floor, clean toilet. Had to remove the towels because Luna sprayed them when she shook. Then I have the little hangers there. Curtain just made it out of the washer. Tub is as clean as it's gonna be. It's kind of stained with clay or whatever it is that's the dirt here in Hawaii. So once the decorative one, she's sniffing everything. <laughs> once the decorative one is out of the washer, I'll connect them, hook them back up, and get some clean towels from the linen closet. I have their pillows here in the laundry room because I have to vacuum them before I give it back to them. And then their towels are right there because I'm gonna throw the shower curtain into the washer now. All right, that's washing. I do not have the energy to vacuum those pillows right now, so I'm just gonna close everything off in here so that way the little one, which is looking for a place to lie down, doesn't get in there. Here's Luna. All right, I'm gonna get some dinner going and reply to the family, and I need to sit down. <laughs> My throat is feeling better though. My allergies have definitely calmed down. I'm still a little itchy around my arms and my thighs, but I know it'll pass and I'll take a shower before bed so I should be fine.